Welcome to our shop. Today I want to talk a little bit about engine kits, specifically our bolt-on big bore kits, the 1250 and the 1275. We've asked a lot of questions on these things and some of these things are just a lot easier to explain with video. So I want to talk a little bit about stock 1200 cylinders, how they differ from our 1250 cylinders and how both of those differ from our 1275 cylinders. So if you want to zoom in here, I'll show the big, big difference between a stock uh, 2004 plus 1200 cylinder and a stock 2000 or 2004 plus 1250 cylinder. If you notice, the liner on the 1250 cylinder is quite a bit thicker. It's a full four inch OD, which makes the uh, the uh, uh, liner almost a quarter inch thick. These are much much thinner. The maximum safe overbore for a 1200 by most people is considered to be 30 thou overbore, which is 1222 cc's right in there. Um, Going any bigger than that puts you at risk of cracking, but but really there's more to it than that and then just the, the possibility of cracking the cylinder. You also, anytime you make that liner thinner, you make it weaker and a, a, a running motor is, is uh, subject to a lot of distortion in the cylinder. If you think about it, you know, you've got a fire burning up here, the heat is, is not uniformly distributed in the cylinder, it's coming from up here, you've got a bracket possibly tying it to the frame. You've got another steel bracket that is connecting the two cylinders together. So you've got a cylinder that's growing. It's not growing evenly, and there are things attached to it that aren't growing by the same amount by any means. So it's twisting and distorting as it's warming up. And as it twists and distorts, to the extent that it does, it makes it harder to get ring sealed because the rings really can't follow a bore that's that's changing in shape as you, uh, as you warm it up. So, um, by putting in a very thick ductile iron liner like this one, we make a much more stable cylinder. We get much better ring seal. And furthermore, this, this uh, iron material is harder than this one. We get better wear characteristics. When you uh, try to put a big bore uh, bolt-on kit into a motor without boring the cases, the limiting factor is really your spigots. Let me show you the difference between the 1200 spigot and the 1275 spigot. Um, the skirt of the piston comes down into the spigot. The rings don't come down here, but the skirt of the piston does. And this protrudes down into the case. So to make the, the cylinder bore bigger, there's a limitation, and that is how thin can you make this before you get a failure. If you notice that the uh, 1250 cylinder has a thinner spigot than the 1200 cylinder, that's because the bore is bigger. It's 3 and 9 16 versus 3 and a half inch for the 1200. Because this material is a stronger ductile iron material, we don't suffer a failure even though we make this thinner. So there are a couple of unique things about the 1250 cylinder construction that make it suitable for the 1250 bore where the stock cylinder is not suitable. That's the bottom line. Okay, so 1250s have been out for a number of years. We've shipped many thousands of them. We have packages built around them. We, you know, we've got guys making over 120 horsepower on these things. And, and we've got thousands in the field in all corners of the globe, right? And we decided we needed to improve it. So how do you improve on this wonderful cylinder that's been so good to us? Well, the first thing that we thought was, let's see if we can push that spigot a little thinner. Let's just bore it out to 3600 and make a 1275 cylinder and let's see what we get. And we did that experiment, we put it on the dyno, and this is what happened. It happened almost immediately. As you can see, it cracked the spigot. Like I was saying, when you make the bore bigger, the spigot gets thinner, you reach a point where it cracks. This is one of our 1250 cylinders that we overboard. So we knew that wasn't gonna work. You know, if we can crack one in one dyno test, then there's no way you can ship it because they'll be cracking on customers all over. So we decided we needed a new cylinder. We sat down uh, with the foundry and we basically came up with this cylinder, which is our 1275 cylinder. The big difference that I want you to notice between these two cylinders is how much shinier the um, sleeve is. The liner in this cylinder is made of a special hard steel alloy. It's much, much stronger than the ductile iron. Um, we still make it very thick in the working area of the cylinder so that we have lots of strength and rigidity. But what that does is it allows us to make the spigot even thinner than the 1250 spigot. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it because there's only a small difference, but it's, it's enough to make a difference in, in the power capability of the motor, believe me. We um, got a handful of the uh, prototype 1275 cylinders in. We tested them. We beat the holy hell out of the bike. We couldn't hurt it. And so we, we put a few of them in the field. We sent them mainly to customers of ours who were racers and we, we knew we'd really abuse them. We tested them for almost a year in you know 
street applications and race applications, nobody hurt a single one. I mean, the test was 100% successful. And that's really important because when you buy these cylinders, you got to buy a thousand at a time minimum. So it's not like, you know, it's, there's a huge financial risk involved. You, you have to make sure that it's going to work before you lay out that kind of cash. But we got the cylinders in in February 2017, our first production shipment. Uh, since then, we've shipped more than 700 kits. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head. And they've been very, very successful. You know, that we've got them all over the world. People are making huge power with them. And it's been an enormously successful product. What we found when we came out with this product was that people who were doing a performance type build, one where they really were trying to, to make good power, they really no longer wanted the 1250 kit. So we had a, more than a dozen different 1250 pistons, various dome shapes and sizes for all these different heads and everything else. We closed all those out. And we moved all of those piston designs to the 1275 only. We still offer the 1250 kit, but we only offer it in flat tops, which work fine with 1200 heads, or reverse dome conversion piston, which work fine with stock 883 heads. We continue to keep the product around, though, because for a lot of people who are, you know, are in a more cost-sensitive market, and they, uh, they need to save a little money. The extra features, the hard liner of this cylinder, and we put in a little fancier piston into this product too. Those things raise the price a little, not a whole lot, but a little. Okay, so that's the big difference. You cannot successfully bore this cylinder to this size, and you can't bore this cylinder to this size. These are three different constructions of cylinders, and each one is specific to their task. And we keep this one around because it's a lower cost cylinder than this one, and there is a market for that. Now I want to talk a little bit about cosmetics. If you notice, these three cylinders are all big fins. This big fin style came out in 2004. Now, prior to that, the cylinders all look like this, 86 through 03, or small fins like this one. You can see what a dramatic difference in fin area that is. The reason that HD um, increased the fin size like this in 2004 was because they really massively increased the cylinder pressures, particularly on the 1200s in 2004, by raising the compression ratio and um, also by changing the cam timing. They pulled the intake close timing way back, which causes you to get more compression from a given compression ratio. So, um, they came out with this in conjunction with uh, uh, manifold pressure-based uh, ignition timing and also in conjunction with oil squirters, all trying to manage the extra heat that would come from all that extra cylinder pressure. And they got a good boost in performance and, and they made it all work. So when you are putting a 1250 or 1275 kit onto a bike that's going to have high cylinder pressures, particularly one of these new bikes with its short cam timing, you really, really should stay with the big fin style. These will fit on a 2004 or newer motor. These will fit on an 86 through 03 motor, uh, with a couple of caveats to that. But basically, they bolt right on. Bolt patterns are the same, double holes are in the same location, all that kind of stuff. But this one, if you have a newer bike, properly matches your heads and it maintains your bike's intended cooling performance. So we highly, highly recommend that you stay with the big fins. Hammer Performance, by the way, is the only company offering 1250 kits in the big fin style, and we're the only ones offering 1275s, period. We offer um, both 1250s and 1275s in the small fin style as well. Here's another small fin cylinder, and the, the interesting thing about this one is that this one has been highlighted. We uh, run these through the CNC machine, and we do a, a highlighting job that I think really makes them look beautiful. Um, one of our competitors doesn't even offer black highlighting. You can buy silver or you can buy black and that's it. So if you have a black highlighted bike and you go with their product, you're going to be changing the look of the bike. Another of our customers will highlight them, but he hits them with a belt sander. And you can imagine how that looks. And another of our competitors does CNC machine them like we do, and they, they do a pretty good job. Um, so in summary, we have both 1250 and 1275s. We have them in big fin and small fin, and we have them in three different colors straight black, straight silver, or black with highlighted fins. So you've got three different uh, colors, you've got two different fin sizes, you've got two different bore sizes, that's 12 different cylinders all together. We are the superstore for bolt-on big bore kits. And here you can see the black highlighted look on a late model big fin head sitting over one of our 1275 cylinders that's also black highlighted. That's the proper look. That If you go and look at the bike from the factory, that has the same color scheme, that's what it looks like, the fins match. Okay, um, that's it. If you have any more questions, please read our website. we got tons and tons of information on all this. If you go on to our sports for uh, big war kits, you can find all this information and more. 
be sure to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Shit. <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's it. Thank you.